Hey YouTube, this one's going out to Carolina Rose who smoked her very first cigar uh, today, yesterday, whenever she actually filmed this. So I'm going to go through and show her exactly how to go through, light the cigar, and get everything rolling. To first, you got to remove the cigar condom. Let me toss this in my little trash bag. And this is a torpedo. Obviously, uh, for this, you can't use a punch cut because it just won't work. So you can use either a V cut or a straight cut. And for simplicity, I'm going to use a straight cut. My Calibri spring loaded cut. <clears throat> and you would probably make this cut around right here. You know, just enough draw to keep it going, but not enough to take out the, uh, uh, wrapper and have it unwrap on you. So I'm going to cut it over here, over my ashtray. And what may be small is a perfect draw for me. And you can always cut a little bit more if you want a little bit more draw or cut a little bit less next time if you think you had too much draw. So let's check the draw real quick. And that's perfect for me. And that, uh, these uh, Flor de Olivas uh, come in, they're like 60 bucks, depending on what size and uh, shape you get them in. And uh, the tip are a little bit sweet, I notice sometimes. And they smell great. I don't get a uh, bad smell off of them for some reason like you got from your cigar, but that may be just a cigar basis or because it was an older cigar. But then we go to light. Now first, since this is a uh, triple jet light, we're going to just kind of towards the beginning. Let's get a little uh, char on the front, not lighting it yet, just getting it like prepared. And then we uh, go for the actual light. And you don't want to uh, put direct flame straight into it. You want to kind of go at an angle. Check to make that the whole thing is lit. And the retro hail on this is perfect. A cigar retro hail is going to be a little bit harsher than a pipe retro hail, but uh, you'll get used to it. And uh, that's how I go through my process of. Uh, cutting and lighting a cigar. Everyone has a slightly different process, but uh, that's how I do it. So thanks guys. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.